When all hopes of finding his missing daughter were lost, William decided to turn to his last resort and let his father's brilliant dog step in. What the dog did next is bound to make you reach for the tissues. One grim evening, the Brown residence was filled with anxiety. A young man named William Brown paced the room, his mind clouded with worry. His beloved daughter, Tammy, had vanished without a trace. Earlier that very morning, the living room had been a haven of joy. Tammy was engrossed in her own world of imagination, and William sat nearby, contentedly watching his daughter play with her cherished toys, and Calvin, her grandfather's dog. They had just finished having breakfast, and William couldn't be more at peace. He sat back in the chair and watched as they played, letting his mind drift off into deep thought. The past few months had weighed heavily on the young man's heart. His world had been shattered by the abrupt departure of his wife, Livy, who left their marriage some months ago, leaving behind a shattered family and a bewildered father trying to make sense of it all. He was heartbroken and felt lost all the time, especially when their daughter kept asking for her mother. Taking care of Tammy, who had special needs, was a big challenge for William, but he never expected Lizzie to give up on them so easily. What hurt him the most was that he never saw it coming. One day, Lizzie left Tammy with the babysitter and sent William a text saying she was leaving forever. It felt like all the air had been sucked out of his lungs. The day she left was like any other regular day. The sun was shining, birds were chirping, and Tammy was playing happily with her toys in the living room. William was busy with work, unaware of the storm that was about to hit his life. As the day went on, his emotions swung like a pendulum. He felt disbelief, anger, and deep sadness all at once. The routine of his day felt empty and meaningless without his wife by his side. He struggled to focus on work, his mind consumed by thoughts of what went wrong. Unaware of the chaos unfolding, the babysitter continued to care for the daughter as if nothing had changed. But everything had changed for William. He was left to pick up the pieces of his shattered life while also trying to shield his daughter from the harsh reality of their situation. Tammy was a special child. From the very beginning, it was clear that she saw the world through a unique lens. She was born with autism, and this meant she had special needs that required extra care and attention. Despite the challenges, her presence brought a different kind of joy into her parents' lives. Autism made Tammy's world a bit different. She saw colors more vividly, heard sounds more intensely, and felt things more deeply than others. Sometimes, everyday things that seemed ordinary to everyone else were extraordinary adventures for her. Her dad marveled at her ability to find joy in the simplest moments. One of the aspects of the little girl's autism was her need for increased supervision. Everyday tasks that might be routine for other children required a bit more attention and patience for her. William had to be vigilant, making sure the environment around her was safe and tailored to her unique needs. He installed safety locks, cushioned sharp corners, and created a space where she could explore without worry. Despite these challenges, Tammy's sweetness and innocence were like a beacon of light in their home. Her ability to find joy in the midst of difficulties, her unwavering trust in her father, and her capacity for boundless love were constant reminders of the beauty that existed within the realm of autism. Despite the pain, William found strength in caring for his daughter. Her innocence and laughter became a beacon of hope in the darkness. He knew he had to be strong for her sake, even though his heart was breaking. Days turned into weeks, and slowly, the sharp pain of Lizzie's departure began to dull. The man and his daughter settled into a new routine, learning to navigate life without her. Though the wounds were still fresh, they found comfort in each other's company. Still, William knew that Tammy would benefit immensely from a more exciting and stimulating environment. So, as the warm summer days arrived, William decided it was time to visit his dad and brother in the calm countryside. Their reunion was full of smiles and joy, especially when they saw him and his sweet daughter Tammy. The laughter of the family filled the air as they gathered to share stories, each person eager to catch up on the happenings in their lives. In the midst of their laughter and shared tales, William's father brought up an interesting story about his dog named Calvin. He had adopted the dog earlier that year, 
and the canine had become somewhat of a legend in the neighborhood. The locals believed that he had a special talent and could find anything that went missing. The tales painted Calvin as almost magical, but William thought they were exaggerating. He believed any dog could stumble upon things in a house and didn't think there was anything extraordinary about it. Undeterred by his son's doubts, the older Mr. Brown insisted that Calvin had a unique ability to locate lost items. The locals regarded the dog with high esteem, considering him a kind of hero. A week later, they were still together at the cabin, and life seemed a little brighter for both William and Tammy. As he sat watching his daughter play with Calvin the dog, he drifted into thoughts and started feeling a bit sleepy. His day had started early, as he had driven his dad to the airport. He was off for a three-day fishing trip with friends. The house was oddly silent without his rambunctious laughter, and William let the peace and quiet claim him. When he opened his eyes again, Calvin was dozing at his feet, but the peace didn't last long. His worry began when he couldn't see his daughter anywhere. His heart raced and fear gripped him as panic set in. Tammy, who had been playing happily just moments ago, was now missing. William called her name, but there was no answer. He jumped up and ran out, calling for his daughter. The calm morning had turned into chaos. The worried men's shouts filled the countryside, and he couldn't shake the feeling that something bad had happened. Calvin, once peacefully resting, now barked with urgency, sensing the worry in his owner's voice. William checked every corner of the house. His heart pounded as he went through every room, hoping to find her. The canine barked beside him, wanting to help, but he couldn't bear to look at him. Calvin had been a part of their morning, but now felt like a reminder of the joy that had vanished. In a nervous state, William even yelled at the poor dog for getting in his way while he ran from room to room. Anxious and angry, he decided to tie Calvin's leash to a tree outside. The dog barked and barked, but William barely heard him over the sound of his own desperate thoughts. Hearing the commotion, the neighbors joined the search. The worry intensified and the community came together to find the lost girl. The once quiet countryside now echoed with shouts for Tammy, and the collective hope of finding her filled the air. As they searched, William's desperation deepened. He felt like he was falling apart, caught in a nightmare. The realization that his daughter might be in danger tore at him. The community looked everywhere, shouting her name, but William knew that hoping for Tammy to come forward at the sound of her name was pointless. His little girl didn't like loud noises and didn't know the people shouting for her. To be honest, he was even afraid that their frantic behavior would frighten her even more and push her into hiding. But he couldn't call off his neighbors, not when any of them could spot his daughter by sheer chance. As William thought about what to do next, his brother James came home. He had gone out earlier to work, but someone had informed him of what had happened. The two brothers, now worried together, decided to search the whole house and the nearby areas. Despite their determined efforts, the little girl was nowhere to be found. So, the brothers decided that they needed help and went to the local police station to tell them that Tammy was missing. The journey to the police station felt like a long, dreadful walk. William couldn't stop blaming himself for dozing off. It felt like a heavy responsibility on his shoulders. At the police station, William and James shared all the details about the young girl's disappearance with the officers. Understanding the urgency, the police started a search right away. The usually quiet town was now buzzing with the shared concern of its residents. Armed with Tammy's description and the details of what happened, the local police sent teams to search everywhere. William and James waited anxiously for any news. The hours felt like a very long time, each tick of the clock making their fear stronger. By noon, the little girl was still missing. Not giving up, the cops expanded their search. The brothers put up flyers with Tammy's picture around town, asking people to help. The whole community came together to join the search. The air was filled with shared concern, and the once quiet streets were now busy with people looking for Tammy. Williams felt even more guilty as time passed. He kept replaying the morning, wondering if dozing off was a mistake. Determined to find the missing child, the police explored every possible place they could think of. They searched parks, fields, and corners where a child might go. The community, wanting to help, 
organized groups to check every spot. The support from the community gave William a bit of hope. Neighbors, friends, and even people he didn't know joined the search, turning the town into a network of kind hearts. The air was filled with shared worry, and the once quiet streets now echoed with the sound of feet shuffling and people talking anxiously. The guilt that weighed him down started to change as he saw the kindness of those around him. The search kept going as the day passed. The police tried everything they could. They talked to locals, checked cameras for any signs of Tammy, and even asked other towns for help. Apparently, the little girl had been seen and recorded walking into a town a few hours earlier, but had then vanished behind a corner and into thin air. As the afternoon turned into evening, finding her started to seem harder. The locals, still filled with worry, waited to hear any news. The police continued the search, refusing to stop despite the fading light. It had been six hours since anyone saw the little girl, and the police hadn't given any updates. In the middle of all this worry, someone had an idea that they use Calvin, the special dog known for finding lost things. But when someone suggested sending the dog to look for Tammy, William got really angry. Just thinking about the dog now felt painful. He didn't even want to see Calvin, and the thought of depending on him to find his daughter was something he couldn't accept. As the day passed and the sun started going down, the girl's father felt more and more anxious. He couldn't handle the uncertainty anymore. Finally, he gave in to the pressure and decided to let Calvin go and search for Tammy. It was a hard choice and he didn't feel good about it, but waiting for the police without doing anything was even harder. The community gathered around, offering support as William struggled with his feelings. They understood how desperate he felt. With a heavy heart, he untied poor Calvin from the tree. His brother James gave the dog a piece of Tammy's clothing to smell and led him off his leash, allowing him to follow her scent. The man didn't really believe that Calvin could magically find his daughter, but at that point, he was willing to try anything other than sitting and waiting for the police. Calvin's nose, good at catching scents, picked up Tammy's smell and started running towards the town center. James and William were hot on his heels. As he followed the scent, the small town turned into a place filled with hope. Neighbors lined the streets, their faces showing concern. Torn between doubting the dog and desperately wanting any clue, William and his brother followed him as he moved through the familiar parts of town. The three of them walked through different places in town as Calvin sniffed around. It was getting dark and William started to think it was pointless. He got mad at the dog, feeling like it was leading them in circles. James, though, encouraged his brother to keep going, reminding him that they had to try everything to find Tammy. So, even though William wasn't happy, he agreed to keep following Calvin. As they walked, his impatience grew. The worry about his daughter got stronger with each passing minute, and he didn't understand why the dog was going in different directions. It was getting darker, and William felt like they were going around in circles. He couldn't figure out how a dog could help find his missing daughter. Just when he was really close to giving up, thinking it was a waste of time, the dog's behavior suddenly changed. Calvin suddenly got excited. It was like he had found something important. The dog's tail wagged a lot and it started leading them with more energy. William, who was tired and didn't believe the dog could do anything, was surprised by Calvin's sudden change. But James, who had kept hope alive, told his brother to trust the dog. So, even though William was unsure, they followed Calvin to a quiet corner of the town. And there, in that corner, they found Tammy. She was scared but okay, sitting alone under a pile of wooden crates. The boxes hit her completely, and her reluctance to come forward had caused everyone to gloss over this specific corner. But Calvin had smelled her scent and found her. William was so relieved to see her that he burst into tears. The two brothers rushed to Tammy, hugging her tightly. The worry that had been with them for hours turned into a mix of happy and emotional tears. Calvin, the dog that William didn't like at first, stood beside them, wagging his tail like he was celebrating. The people from the neighborhood who had been waiting for news cheered as the family came back together. Everyone who had joined the search celebrated the success of finding Tammy. The four of them walked back home. The small town, now lit up by the soft glow of streetlights, seemed to welcome them back. 
When they got home, William still couldn't believe what had happened. Calvin had played a huge part in finding Tammy. He had doubted the dog, but now he looked at him with a new thankfulness and appreciation. When their dad came back and heard the story, he gathered everyone in the living room to explain something surprising. Calvin was not just an ordinary dog, he was a retired police dog. Their dad wanted them to know that his special skills weren't magic or mere legend, but came from many years of training. As they sat together, he shared the dog's backstory. He told them that Calvin had been specifically trained to find things and assist people. Over the years, the dog had learned specific skills to follow scents and locate missing persons. William felt a mix of surprise and gratitude. He had no idea that the canine had a background as a police dog with real training. The once questionable dog wasn't relying on magic, but on the knowledge gained through years of hard work. As the dad shared these details, the family's view of Calvin changed. The dog they didn't fully understand before now seemed like a hero. Calvin wasn't just lucky, he was a dedicated and well-trained dog who knew how to help. William's dad explained that he had never shared this information with the neighbors for a simple reason. They liked their myths and legends, and a logical explanation for Calvin's behavior would have ruined the mystery. William was a little upset that his dad hadn't shared the truth with him either. If he had, he would have immediately put Calvin at work, and they would have avoided that big commotion. But the important thing was that Tammy was home, safe and sound, and happy. Calvin, now resting comfortably in the corner, seemed to enjoy the family's newfound understanding. His tail wagged happily, not to show off, but to express satisfaction for having done his job well. The story of Calvin's role in finding Tammy spread, making the retired police dog a hero in the eyes of the townsfolk. Calvin, who was already a bit of a local celebrity, became more popular and received pets and praise from everyone. Kids approached him with wide eyes, treating Calvin with newfound respect. As the days passed, the small town continued to celebrate the family's reunion and Calvin's crucial role. The story became a reminder that sometimes, extraordinary outcomes are not because of magic, but because of the dedication, training, and unique skills individuals, or in this case, animals, bring to a community. What a surprising ending. Would you trust a dog to follow a scent in such a tense situation? Have you ever met a dog who could locate missing objects by smell alone? Tell us in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.